George Osborne's love of China can't be questioned after his sprawling five-day tour of the country this week, a visit which left Beijing purring with delight and his critics claiming it had all been an extended kowtow. Mr Osborne went backpacking around China 20 years ago, visiting the Panda Reserve in Chengdu and coming under attack by the monkeys in the local hills. His mother studied Chinese at university and his daughter is learning Mandarin. For the Chancellor, this was a very personal mission. After David Cameron met the Dalai Lama in 2012 and put Britain's relationship with China into the deep freeze, Mr Osborne has been doing everything in his power to put things back on track. On Monday he was in Beijing, telling his host that instead of running from China after the recent market crash, Britain should instead be running towards China. On Tuesday he was in Shanghai, giving a speech on Britain's solidarity with China at what he called the epicentre of China's recent woes, the city's stock exchange. Rather than weakening ties, Mr Osborne proposed a formal link between the Shanghai and London markets. I want to see our stock markets in London and in Shanghai formally connected with UK firms raising funds from Chinese savers and Chinese firms listing in London. A five-hour plane flight later, he turned up on Wednesday in Urumqi, a city hit by recent ethnic unrest, tiptoeing gently through questions about Beijing's treatment of the Xinjiang region's Muslim Uyghur population. And finally, on Thursday, he was in Chengdu, capital of Sichuan, promoting his northern powerhouse project to potential Chinese investors. I just want to do something different with these China trips, Mr Osborne told me. I want to take a bit of a risk with the China relationship. The relentlessly flattering tone of the visit upset some human rights groups and some Western diplomats. But China Daily, the Beijing mouthpiece, suggested the visit had succeeded on its own terms, trying to make Britain China's number one investment destination. Compared with the difficult period around 2012, China-UK interactions today present a desirable and harmonious picture, glowed the paper's editorial. As one minister on the trip said, George's speechwriters couldn't have said it any better. This is George Parker for the Financial Times in Chengdu.